Can a sexually immoral Christian enter heaven when the Lord Jesus Christ comes? What if he repented but does not want to marry his live-in partner? They attend Sunday worship services, but they still do not want to get married. Can they enter the kingdom of heaven? Let's explore 10 essential truths that will guide us to the final answer to this very important question. Number 1. Salvation is by grace. But true faith transforms lives. The Bible teaches that salvation is by grace through faith in Christ alone, not by our works. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8, 9 to 10, and Titus 3, 5. However, true faith, if genuine, will produce fruit. Repentance isn't just a change of mind, but a change of heart that results in transformed actions. True repentance leads to a life changed. Number 2. Fornicators cannot enter the kingdom of God. Living together without being married while engaging in sexual relations is referred to as fornication or sex outside of marriage. And this is the judgment of God for them. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 9 to 10, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkard, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. Number three, true repentance leads to turning away from sin. Can someone truly say they have repented if they continue living in sexual immorality? True repentance means turning away from sin. While repentance saves, genuine repentance is always followed by actions that reflect a transformed life. 1 John chapter 3 verse 4 to 10 says, no one who lives in him keeps on sinning. No one who continues to sin has either seen him or known him. A true believer cannot remain in habitual sin because God's seed in them produces righteousness. Yes, a true Christian can still commit sin. But you can see changes in his life. And in the future, he will seek to have a pure life and get married to the right partner. A true Christian becomes a new creation of God. But if he remains a fornicator in his lifetime, it does not reflect being a new creation of God. He is a fake Christian. When a true Christian sins, he feels guilt and fear for he knows it is not the will of God. Number four, external acts of worship cannot cover ongoing disobedience. You might say, I attend church every Sunday, I sing worship songs, I give offerings, surely this is enough. But is it? Can external acts of worship cover a heart still in rebellion against God's will? Matthew chapter 7, 21 to 23 says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father. Worship is not about lip service, but a heart that has truly turned to God and a life that follows His commands. Number five, worship is more than a Sunday attendance. It's about daily obedience. Worship isn't just about what we do on Sunday. It's about how we live every day. You may lift your hands in praise, but if your heart is hardened and you continue in disobedience, are you truly worshiping? Mark 7, 6 says, these people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Worship without obedience is hypocrisy, my brothers. Number six, can we continue in sin and still enter heaven? Can someone continue in sin, live in disobedience, and still expect to enter heaven? The Bible's answer is firm, no. True repentance means turning away from sin. You cannot call yourself a follower of Christ while continuing to live in sexual immorality with your partner, thinking that attending church is enough. Hebrews 10.26 says, If we deliberately keep on sinning after we have received that knowledge of truth, no sacrifice for sins is left. Number 7. The path to heaven through repentance and faith in Christ. The path to heaven is through true repentance and faith in Christ. It requires acknowledging your sin, turning away from it, and trusting Jesus to save you. When you receive God's gift of salvation, His seed is planted in you, and you begin to live out His will. Not true repentance and faith go beyond merely attending church services or singing songs. They lead to a transformed life in Christ. While God does not demand perfection before offering His free gift of salvation, He does call you to strive for holiness afterward. 
perfection. A saved and transformed person will seek to grow in holiness, completeness, including in the area of marriage. Number eight, living in purity if marriage is not possible. If you choose not to marry your partner, the action of a true Christian or believer would be to remain friends and avoid sexual contact. This reflects the heart of a Christian who desires to honor God in every area of his life. The final answer, can you enter heaven without repentance? Can you enter heaven if you have a hardened heart, refuse to get married, and continue living in sexual immorality when Jesus returns? The Bible's answer is clear, no. True repentance leads to either getting married or living in purity. Only a heart that is truly repentant will enter his kingdom. And number 10, however, when you truly repent seconds before the rapture, Jesus will take you to his kingdom. However, we don't know the hour of his coming. So he commands us to get ready. How? By true faith and true repentance.